Nick, take us to November and the Albert Hall and Symphonic Rock. Uh, what can we expect? Uh, every greatest rock tune you can ever probably list, if, uh, if you can think of it that way. I mean, it's the most incredible, incredible night. Um, we've been doing it for, for uh, as long as I can remember, actually, now. And, and it's, it's an amazing feeling for a classical orchestra plus superb rhythm section, I mean, I have to say, and then Metro Voice is with us as well to add the oohs and ahs behind, uh, as you'd expect. Um, but 6,000 people in the Albert Hall, and they always, they always amaze me because, I mean, there's necessarily, not necessarily any words going on, but they, they kind of feel, as it, the, the rock feeling of being in a, concert, in a rock concert is so there. So for a classical orchestra, to, uh, to experience that as well. I mean, we absolutely love it. You know, it's, it's, you come out on a real high at the end of the night with uh, having just played Bohemian Rhapsody and the champions, and, you know, we are the champions from Queen and Stay Away to Heaven. And uh, I mean, uh, some great classic, more modern classics as well, things like Fix You by um, Coldplay. And, and uh, so, I mean, it, there, it's a, a fantastic broad spectrum of, of rock classics, but you know, everybody, ones everybody will know and love. I mean, there are, there are countless rock classics you could choose yeah. to give that approach to. Uh, is, it, is it possible to identify what, what lends a rock classic to that kind of musical treatment? Yeah, it's a very good question. I think, I mean, the, the arrangers uh, are, are usually credited in the program, in the concert, uh, Mike Townend and, and uh, the like. And they do such an amazing job, but they tend to really try to pick songs Meatloaf, for example. I mean, Meatloaf, it's the, the great thing about rock, I've always thought, it's, it's you add trombone section to the bottom of a low guitar line and you get 10 times the force of a low guitar line, you know, mm. so it, it lends itself really, really well to rock music. And, um, and I think that's been the success of it, that it sounds, it, it's got a classical element, um, which of course naturally comes from the orchestra, but when you add it with a rhythm section, and double up and you've got all of these forces and you've got 60 to 80 people on stage, 6,000 in the audience, all buzzing. And whether you're playing a, a, a new Adele song or whether you're playing, you know, uh, Led Zeppelin or wh whatever it is, every, the, the, the atmosphere is just incredible. I mean, we've had the same effect that Adele had with everybody turning their phones on, you know, we're playing <laughs> someone like you. I mean, it makes you feel a bit like a rock star yourself, which of course <laughs> we are far from. But, uh, but nevertheless, uh, you know, we, we give our, a great, our great rock night. And as part of this year's concert, in the year that sadly David Bowie died, uh, there's a special tribute to his music as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, every, every year we try and uh, change um, a part of the concert and, and pay tribute, or at least uh, have a section where we concentrate on the, the songs of a certain artist. Uh, and this year, of course, yeah, sadly, the legendary David Bowie uh, fantastic musician and, and writer and we uh, I'm sure the arrangers are very uh, gnawing at the bit to, to get it to his work and I'm sure it's going to be a, a fantastic addition to the concert. Uh, so and what everybody. about the auditorium how much does that add to the experience do you think? The Albert Hall is you know it's London's premier venue it's it's uh, it's an incredible place whether it's been symphonic rock or a classical concert we've done or a film gala and things. I mean, it's, you always feel special. It's the Royal Albert Hall. And I think audiences do as well. I mean, if you're a tourist coming to London and things, to say that you went to a concert at the Royal Albert Hall. And I think, you know, the fact that it's classical, but it's rock, brings in a whole new audience, brings in a, a, a group of people that, that may not go and see a classical concert. And therefore they get the chance to experience the Albert Hall plus the symphony sound plus this rhythm section and all the lighting and everything that goes with it. It's a real spectacle. I mean, it really is an extraordinary night.